Finish up this. No, 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 señor. Can you tell us about you? <laughs> well, even with this weather, it's really a pleasure to be back in Paris. I'm super happy to be here. And especially with so many projects, even if the city will maybe go into another lockdown at some point or will continue like this, it's always a place that inspires people, inspires artists. And especially for me as Mexican, it's such a beautiful, uh, like a beautiful place to live because it's full of constant changes and metamorphosis but at the same time it's always as as beautiful as it uses and well my name is Esteban Fuentes de Maria I'm a 26 year old artist from Mexico I'm an ornithologist mainly I study birds and then I develop all these ideas that I find in people represented with the diversity of birds that I see in my country and the place where I come from And have you created already in Paris? Well, now, yes. I, I was based here for almost four years, but then I had to fly back to Mexico because of the quarantine, because of the lockdown and the virus. And it's the first time that I'm back in, in France after a year and a half. And it's so beautiful. Hello, can I speak to Mr. Don Quixote, please? No, senor. Don it's a great comeback. And how do you consider the Parisian birds? Well, I think it's such an interesting version because it's the first time that you can cross the bridge and, and, and you can see the museum, see the palaces, see these super important monuments, not only for France, but for, for the entire Europe and for the world, empty. And you walk around the restaurants and it's only for each other. So I think it's, a, it's very hard to see how the economy and the people are surviving the situation. But at the same time, it's so beautiful to see Europe without tourists. So it was a great time for birds. Well, it, it definitely sure. was. Though, I mean, it's not the richest place in Paris, but I'm working with a hall now, which uh, confirmed a very interesting project, and it's going to bring me back to, to France soon. And uh, I'm well, excited to work with, with the nature that Paris has in its, in its history. And so, uh, a couple of words about your artistic style. Well, um, I, I, I paint mostly birds, and I've been painting since I was, well, since I was a kid. And sometimes it's hard for me to explain how it all started because I cannot remember. And it's well known that the, the mother tongue, the mother language, is not only the one you learn first, but it's also the one that goes to your roots. And my family has been painting birds for 150 years. So it's literally my, my way to communicate. Not only because I learned it since I was little, but because, because it somehow runs in my blood. And for me to have the chance to, to, to work so close with all of the things that inspire me, my muses, has, has made my work become a very surreal version of what happens in my mind. Because at the end, the art is exactly that. It's the filter that the artist has in its mind and in its heart and in the heart. And how we represent the things that everyone can see but with a different point of view. And so what do you enjoy about painting birds? I don't know if I enjoy painting. Maybe I suffer more than I enjoy it. It's part of it. It's all about feeling the feelings. And uh, well, when, when I paint, I somehow perform sort of an exorcism to myself. And I, and I express the worst, but also the best of myself. It's a very intense.
Pas de l'inspiration, is there. Hein. At least. Et Sparta Blue. And uh, uh, so about your project, about now and tomorrow, I mean uh, this year or next year? Yes. Well, uh, today I, I am, I'm, I'm working on a very special project, this collaboration with a historical place in the back that has been here for generations, that burned and survived, so it's sort of a phoenix. It's a place that inspires me a lot, and it's an honor for me to be working with them. And also, I'm starting a new mural in the Chateau, in, in North Rhine, the 18th of, of July, so I'm happy to be coming back soon in the later three weeks. I'm going to be in North Rhine for about uh, five days working on this mural, and hopefully I'll be com uh, I'm coming back to Paris afterwards for only a few weeks, back to Mexico then. <laughs> And hopefully in, in September I'll be coming back for the opening of that, of that mural and in October, if the things go well, I might open the exhibition in the heart, which makes me very, very excited. <laughs> And the rest of the time you have over projects in Mexico. And in Rome. So I'm also going to be half based in Italy now. So we have an exhibition in Palazzo Colonna. And I have a collaboration with an Italian artist who's called Paolo, Paolo El Gallo. And another one who's called Pietro Pasolini, both very close friends of mine. And uh, those are the main reasons why I'm back here in, in, in Europe. And also my, my next exhibition that's in Rome in, uh, in two weeks. Nearby Rome, actually in the, in the coast, but in a very beautiful place in Villa Corsini, and I'm presenting one of my first sculptures, so I'm excited to, to see them. Hello! That Can makes I a lot of things to Don't discover that we invite you to see on the Instagram at least. Bon, bah, muchas gracias Merci for too. all the information. And 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 See the next you. time I'll be speaking French. Hopefully. Ah oui, <laughs> more than us.